This time we either got models or drug queen pins. No, I'm just playing. This cuz will prosper here with another video. Uh, this time we have two Instagram influencers. Uh, one's a rapper by the name of Racky. The other one's a fitness model by the name of Mrs. DeFour. And they got caught with 213 Ps of Yayo, White Girl, Snow, whatever you want to call it. They got caught with that shit on the spot. Here goes the post right now. It's from New York Post. Guess who are Instagram influencers were arrested after they were caught with $3 million in cocaine packed into a secret compartment of their SUV, New York Post reported. Raquel Dolores Antolia, 34, and Melissa DeFore, 36, were arrested early Thursday while driving on the Interstate 10 in Mobile County, Alabama. Notably, Miss Antolia, also known as Racky, is a singer and rapper based in Los Angeles, according to her Instagram profile, and has over 119 followers. Meanwhile, Mrs. DeFore is a fitness model and the owner and designer of the clothing brand called Sexy Sweats and has 11,000 followers on Instagram. According to NY Post, the pair claimed to have met in Miami and embarked on a joint road trip to Houston for a house party where they consumed excessive amounts of alcohol. They were pulled over by Mobile County Sheriff's deputy on June 1st near Mobile, Alabama for an alleged traffic violation. During the traffic stop, a canine alerted the officer to possible presence of drugs in their vehicle. When the officer examined the Black Ford Expedition, they found 216 pounds of coke cane packed in 84 bundles under the floorboards of the car. The, the alleged drug stash was worth three million. God damn. The vehicle back seat was modified with a steel aftermarket compartment. The SUV's floor had also been lowered and welded back together to provide a storage room. The second compartment was located in the back of the SUV where the side panels were hollowed out as per a as Per a report by the local media outlet, L L I, I ain't even going to do that. The, the women were taken into custody by the MCSO and the U.S. Border Patrol. Both of them now face a minimum of 10 years behind bars on federal drug trafficking charges. I should have just put it in right there if you didn't see it. Oh, well, I'm just teasing. That motherfucker was in there. But, um... Yeah, no, that shit is crazy. Have y'all ever, y'all know, y'all know the, the BMF story, and I'm not just talking about the TV show, I'm talking about, like, the original story, how, how they was moving all their stuff, they had, like, rebuilt cars and made them the exact same, uh, uh, depart, what do you call them, apartment departments, uh, like, sections inside the cars, basically, if somebody got the proper word for it, I just can't think of it, put it in the comments, but they made the little portions to where, like, you basically have to, like, turn on the air conditioner, hit the hit the brake like three times and like a, a compartment would open up a compartment and basically the dude the like people were finding like money in there over time and stuff like that i'm not saying that ha has anything to do with their case but it kind of makes me wonder if they even knew it was in there you know what i mean but i'm not saying they didn't because i'm not saying that's why i made the joke about the queen pin because they can they could very possibly been uh, on that shit and was like trying to get it off but there's a good chance that the fact that there was compartments inside the car that these two had no idea since they were willing to get fucking drunk and leave parties knowing that they had 213 fucking peas on them. What the... Bro, that's crazy. Like, what were you doing? You should have got what you was doing and got to where you was going. That shit is fucking crazy. You shouldn't be doing none of it because you can go to prison for a really long time, kids. Avoid all that shit. But I'm just saying, she should have got her shit and got the fuck where she was going. There should have been no stops, no a hey, no pass go, whatever that fucking saying is. She she shouldn't have stopped. That shit is crazy. The the real crazy part is the person that gave it to her, if they didn't get their money for it, or if she might they might have paid for it, but if they didn't get their money for it, oh uh, they they out. <laughs> they so they if they were just delivery because that's what I feel like they was doing. I feel like they probably was just delivery because that's why they didn't give a fuck about getting drunk and all that shit because the, the dude had them driving probably because they was two females and nobody would ever think like you know what I'm saying more than likely nobody would ever think they own shit and all that good jazz. So that's more than likely what it was. But like I said, it's very much possible that they were already on their own shit. Like we gonna go get this dropped off. Da -da -da -da. But some tells me they was either, I don't know, some just tells me that they, they, I don't know. They didn't see nothing else in the statement basically saying like, oh, no, nah, we wasn't doing that. They didn't, either they holding it down or like 
they really they really the ones who did it, so they ain't saying nothing. But I ain't even trying to get them caught up or get their case extra as looked at. I'm just I just find it crazy. I'm like, damn, these motherfuckers had it basically had it going, but then they fucked it up by getting drunk at a party one day and like. That's not that's not good business. You should have handled business before y'all niggas started having fun. Or y'all should have got drunk at y'all own Airbnb. And if it was somewhere where y'all knew people, just invited a few people and called it what it was. Or dropped it off and then fucking Ubered to wherever y'all was going. Shit, Uber is a thing now. It's a beautiful thing now. It would have caught you. It would have kept y'all asses out of jail. But go ahead, continue to like, subscribe, and share. Continue to fuck with me. I appreciate y'all watching. I know it's been a minute, but I'm going to try to keep these motherfuckers rolling. Bye.